let's practice working with arrays. Arrays can be used to model numbers and totals. An array is a figure that has some rows and a certain number in each row. So let's solve the first problem. In this problem, we want to identify the number of rows and columns and then identify the array altogether. So let's begin. How many rows are there? Now rows go left to right, so across the page in that direction, and there are one, two, three rows. And I'm going to write that over here, three rows. Now let's count how many are in each row or how many columns there are. And there are one, two, three, four, five columns. And I'm going to write that right here. Now let's identify the array. When you identify the array, you identify it by saying the number of rows by the number in each row. So let's go back to the original work we did. You found that there were three rows, so we put that in where the number of rows is, and then we have the word by, and we put it by the number in each row, which is the number of columns, and here we have five columns, or five in each row, which means that this is a three by five array. Let's solve another problem. Draw a two by four array. What is the total, and what happens if it's rotated? Remember that arrays are named by writing the number of rows by the number in each row. Now go to the problem and see that it is identified by saying 2 by 4, which means that there are going to be 2 rows by 4 in each row. And I'm going to draw a 2 by 4 array for you. Here's a 2 by 4 array. Notice that there are 1, 2 rows, and there are 4 in each row. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'm going to count in blue to find the total number that are shown in this array. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This array shows the number 8. Now the second part of this problem asks you to say, what happens now? What happens if you rotate this array? Now, rotating this array means that you would switch the number in each row and the number of rows. So let's go back to the problem here. If we originally had a 2 by 4, when we rotate that, you're going to have a 4 by 2 array, which means 4 rows with 2 in each row. Let me draw that for you. Notice now that there are 4 rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that each row has 2 in it, 1, 2. Now count and see what the total is now that you've rotated the array. And I'll do that in blue. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Notice that when you rotated the row and the, the number in each row, you still got the same total. In this array, the total was 8. And in this array, the total is also 8. So rotating the array doesn't change the total number. It only changes the organization. And remember, when you name an array, you name the number of rows by the number in each row. Thanks for watching.